Hi guys, this is Ram again. We're here in the beautiful Porto Ranch area. Porto Ranch is a city in the San Fernando Valley. It's one of the more wealthy cities. I want you guys to kind of look around. We have coffee shops, restaurants, all sorts of things. I want you guys to think about what do you think the average item a person here buys? This is a beautiful coffee shop. Don't get me wrong, but I'm willing to bet that coffee's four or five dollars. That same coffee, we can probably get for 20 cents at Walmart, you guys. So people are willing to pay an upgraded premium, and this is what today's episode is gonna be about, about how we pay more for things, because when we pay for someone to do it, or we pay that little luxury cost, it ends up costing us thousands. I'm 32 years old. I want you to think back. When I was in my early 20s, when I had my business, and I was kind of getting, getting really successful, what do you think was my biggest money destroyer? Was it drugs, partying, cars, uh, just bad habits that so easy, especially here in California, that people fall into? You guys are gonna be shocked at what I tell you what was one of my biggest money drainers. It was actually restaurants. Yes, restaurants were one of my biggest financial murderer killers. It was, uh, it was just a slaughterhouse. So guys, what happened is, at the end of my year of 2015, I was 25, my accountant gave me my profit and loss statement where I see where my expenses were going. And I had spent over $10,000 in restaurant bills, 10 grand. Keep in mind guys, I wasn't going to these exotic places in Beverly Hills or Malibu or Calabasas, every now and then maybe once every four or five months. But these were just regular restaurants guys where bills were 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars. But adding that up over a period of time ended up costing me so much money. Guys, this also doesn't consider the fact that oftentimes I was giving the waiters and waitresses cash tips. It doesn't consider if I paid for a valet and it doesn't consider my drive time, right? So if I drive and kill $5, if I added the total, I probably spent close to $15,000, you guys, going out to a restaurant. Do that is a yearly cost. That's over $1,000 a month in restaurant. That's more than some people spend on their illegal drug habits or nonsense that they're putting money into. I was just as bad because I was addicted to going out to restaurants. Spending money going out with friends and just living this life of spending money ended up costing me so much money, you guys. And the purpose of the today's channel is to let you know how these habits can be controlled. I'm not saying don't go out and I'm not saying don't have fun, but what I'm saying is these bad habits that we develop that no one teaches us cost us so much money. Not only that, but we have something called opportunity costs. What opportunity costs is, yeah, I spent all this money going out to eat, so now I need to get a new upgraded computer for office work. I need to get a new laptop for this. Well, guys, I now don't have money because all that money got spent going out to restaurants on meals that should have cost me pennies on the dollar. Look at a typical meal. One of my favorite things to eat was, uh, I'm a, a vegan, right? So I don't eat meat. One of my favorite things to get was these Mediterranean plates. A couple falafels, some hummus, a pita bread, rice, some grape leaves. If I go to the store and buy all these things, that plate, honestly, guys, doesn't cost me more than maybe a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. When I'm going to a restaurant, you guys, I'm spending anywhere from twelve to fifteen dollars for that plate. Plus, if I've got a waiter or a waitress, I gotta give them at least four or five dollars. I can't give them a dollar, right? So, a meal that costs me a dollar fifty, I'm literally spending fifteen times as much because somebody made it for me. And people say, oh, but it saves you time. Okay, I still have to sit there and wait for an hour for the food to be ready. I have to get dressed. That same energy, if I would have just made my own meal, you guys, I could have did this myself for pennies on the dollar. The purpose of today's channel is to let you guys see exactly how much it costs just to simply go out and have a sandwich. So again, guys, this is a sandwich. This isn't a sit down five star restaurant. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna purchase it. And at the end of it, I'm gonna buy a meal for myself and for my amazing cameraman, Need. Okay, so let's take a look at the menu here. I would like to get number 14, which is the veggie. Okay, let, let me just get a regular fountain drink, a uh, regular size. Get the giant, bro. Yeah. Giant with uh, Parmesan bread, club sub. As a matter of fact, I wanna get two cookies too, because I know a lot of us here like to get cookies when we go out to eat. That's why they put them here, you guys. So impulse buying, you buy cookies. You figure, oh, it's just a cookie, but let's see what it's gonna run us. So two cookies, please. Swipe this. What it cost us here today? 33.04 for two meals, okay. And so guys, going out to restaurants, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm not saying don't have fun in your 20s enjoy a meal now and then. But when you make money, this is one of the biggest killers I see people get into is going out to restaurants, spending money foolishly, living like they're someone important when at the end of the day, 
nobody really cares. And that's the hard truth that we all have to accept. Let me give you guys a story. One time I went to a restaurant just to show everyone, oh, I, I had money. I paid for another table's tab just to show the people I was with, look how cool I am. But at the end of the day, you guys, who really won from that transaction, me or the restaurant? Those people who I paid that meal for, if you line them up in front of me right now, I couldn't tell you who they are, couldn't name them, I don't know anything about them. But yet here I am spending all this money trying to show off, trying to live this life. And at the end of the day, guys, it, it's foolishness. And so many people say, oh, if I only made more money. No, the problem oftentimes isn't if you make more money, it's our habits that kill us. People will often say, oh, if I only made $10,000 more, $10, more, I could get my finances together. But then you look at their habits and okay, you spend $5 a day on Starbucks coffee when you can make that same coffee for, for what, 20 cents? If you guys have made it this far, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us help you. So these are our habits, guys, that really condill us. And in this episode of Unconditional Money is to get us to understand how these small habits add up. Because often what happens is we say, oh, it's only $5, it's only $10. And yeah, one time that doesn't really change your life. But you add that up over time and it murders you financially. People, we're here in the beautiful area of Porter Ranch right now in Southern California. There's lots of restaurants here. You see people walking in and out. And I'm willing to bet most of these people are spending four or five times the cost to buy something that they could go make at home. And I'm willing to bet these are the same people who will say, oh, I wish I had more money because I don't make enough to, to do what I want. But then you look at what they're spending their money on, you guys, and we're all guilty of it. So I want you guys to start thinking about your money when you're going out to eat. Because like I said, the fact that I spent close to maybe 15,000 total on gas, food, and tips, that's over a thousand dollars a month, you guys. People with bad habits that are into, sadly, people who fall into drugs and things that are horrible, probably don't even spend that much. So again, if you look at it from that point of view, you guys, I want you to think about how much you're spending and how that money could be used elsewhere because you're also losing your opportunity. That's